You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Well, my luggage is there. I'm here. And uh, my flight doesn't leave till tomorrow morning. She's one of thousands across the country battling through flight delays and cancellations. It comes after a nationwide ground stop this morning. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The FAA computer systems were down for a few hours, but that impacted departures everywhere, including Willard Airport in Savoy. And that's where we find WCI3's Amanda Brennan. She's live, Amanda. Well, it's looking pretty quiet now. Well, Jennifer, that's right. And you can see over my shoulder, there's no baggage at the baggage claim. There's not many travelers arriving either. It was the complete opposite when I was here just a few hours ago. This whole area behind me was bustling. Now, we do come on air tonight with an update just from a few minutes ago. The FAA did just post on Twitter that their preliminary work has traced the outage to a damaged database file. There is no evidence of a cyber attack. I've talked to many people today, and for many of them, their travel days weren't easy. I got here at 5.30 to um, leave for a 7 a.m. flight, and we all got checked in. Uh, we all boarded the plane, and then the pilot came out and said, well, we're now going to deboard. Sarah Seed's plans to get from Savoy to Florida have hit a roadblock. Um, it will be at least two hours. There's been a breakdown. Those two hours turned into an all-day scramble. My flight doesn't leave till tomorrow morning. She's one of thousands impacted across the nation. The website FlightAware says more than 9,000 flights were delayed and over 1,300 canceled throughout the U.S. It's because the FAA's notice to air mission system was down throughout the morning. The system is used by pilots, airports, the FAA to advise aeronautical users of non-standard um, issues at airports or navig navigational aids or reporting conditions on airfields. Tim Bannon is Willard Airport's executive director. He says it's a key tool to keep pilots informed. It is the flow of information between airports, the FAA, pilots. He says he hasn't seen an outage like today's before, but is grateful it only had a small effect on Willard. Well, we had two departures this morning. One departure was not impacted. Our 6 a.m. departure to Chicago O'Hare took off on time. The uh, departure at 7 a.m. to Dallas-Fort Worth was actually delayed. Steve Nesbitt saw the FAA's tweet about the outage and got to Denver's airport early to get on a different connecting flight. And we took off right as their stop was lifted. And but his colleague didn't change her plans and is stuck in Chicago. And they're going to miss their connection, so they're going to have to drive down from O'Hare tonight. And even with that ground stop being lifted this morning, it really caused a ripple effect of tra challenges for travelers throughout the day. Now, the FAA also said on Twitter that they're still working to further determine the cause of today's issues. Reporting live at Willard Airport, I'm Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you so much. We also checked in with the Central Illinois Regional Airport in Bloomington. No delays or cancellations there today. In Decatur, only one 30-minute delay in the morning. Similar story in Springfield. Field slight delays there as well. It